Hello, my name's Rachel. I had a sleeve gastrectomy June 25th, 2012 with Dr. Robert Woodbury in Santa Rosa, California. I'm going to make this a little quick because I'll be on my way out the door to school soon. It's quick cam, so I'll make it quick. Um, I have lightened my hair and updated my hairstyle. Uh, this process for me has really shown me how to love myself. And the more beautiful and healthy I feel on the inside, it's really showing on the outside. And loving <laughs> my hair and my hairstyle. I love, like, doing my hair. And as you remember, this whole last year has been a struggle with losing hair and whatnot. But now that my weight's kind of balanced off, it's not my goal weight, but it's slowed very dramatically, <laughs> extremely dramatically, um... My hair seems to have grown in fuller. Um, so enough about the hair. Uh, my lab work, I can't remember if I talked about this last time. After my year checkup did come back. Amazingly, my iron, my B12, my everything is stellar. Except for my vitamin D deficiency, which I had before surgery. So I'm taking 2,000 milligrams of regular old vitamin D. I'm still taking my calcium plus D3. This is generic for Citrical Maximum. Um, got this at Target. The only other change is in the form in which I'm taking my multivitamins. I was taking for a whole year the Celebrate Multivitamin Chewable. And I can't stress enough to ask questions of your nurse and your medical team. I no longer needed to chew the multivitamins as soon as my stomach was healed for the most part um, as long as I could tolerate another form of multivitamin then go for it so I am still taking Celebrate and this is multi-complete um, and it's in the form of these clear little gelatin clear caps and they have the vitamin power powder inside so Celebrate knows what they're doing they're, it's formulated for bariatric patients they're not going to give you a hard tablet. That's it on the supplements. Uh, wow, life is going really good. I'm getting ready to eat breakfast. already had my two cups of coffee. Can't do a 9 a.m. class without it. Uh, I just wanted to share what my breakfast is today. I made these little mini quiches. I might eat one. I might eat two. Um, they're about two ounces each and they're crustless and I made them in a muffin pan. I got this recipe from Spark People, uh, Crustless Quiche, um, Breakfast to Go, something to that effect. Instead of using the cup of cheddar cheese, I always switch out for part skim mozzarella to reduce the calories. And I always flavor it up for myself, you know, fresh oregano, garlic powder. I put in some onion and some... Uh, red bell pepper, so it's a spinach and cheese crustless quiche. Really good protein for when you're on the go. Um, wow, I really haven't lost any weight. Um, I'm bouncing back between 217 and 220, um, 220 today, and I've been that weight uh, for a long time. <laughs> I don't know, five, four or five months, but I'm toning up, um, still not going to the gym, however, it's been summer, I've been working in my garden just about every day, getting out in the sun, pulling weeds, um, you know, I shared that last time, but my garden season's about four months long, lucky to live in California, uh, people have noticed that my face is smaller, and I've noticed that my waist is so much smaller, I don't have my shoes on yet, but let me share, um, this is what I look like, and I wore this particular shirt on purpose so I could show you guys how much smaller that my waist is. Um, I really wish I had started taking measurements from the very beginning. Um, I was just strictly focused on weight, but now I see that would have been a great idea. So, look at how much that waist has trimmed down. Um, I'm really noticing it in this area. Even... Um, my fat pocket has slimmed out a little bit. I do wear a very um, light support um, undergarment, you know, underwear, um, just for the fact of holding my 
fat apron a little closer to my body. Uh, it's just the lightest support. I think Viseret makes it, and you know, you know me, I'm on a budget. I got it at Walmart. Get a lot of stuff at Walmart. Uh, wow, um, I feel great. I'm eating a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruit, lean protein, limiting my carbs, doing the 64 ounces of liquid. I'm doing everything that I did. However, um, I'm noticing that s some emotional eating patterns have come back, and it's uh, related to stress. You know, I had anxiety and stress about starting school. Um, I know most of you know I'm in my 40s, so I'll tell you, I, I just turned 47 in July, and I'm starting to feel the effects of aging a little bit. I've always had bad eyes, but my prescription's gotten so much worse in the last two years. Also, I'm hard of hearing, and that's really plummeted. So kind of being upset a little bit, um, just having acceptance around, you know, things fall apart when you get older. Um, so I'm trying not to let that get to me too much. Uh, me and the boyfriend are great. School's great. Family's great. Um, I'm a lot more, I've always been really outgoing, but I'm a lot more likely to talk and give eye contact to the general pub public, you know, grocery store, um, wherever I am out in the world. I'm, I seem more social. Like I said, I've always been friendly, but I just feel more open. And I'm getting that back from people. Um, and I hate to say the difference between 120 or 25 pounds ago and now, people are more... They talk to me more than when I was really big. I am not going to cry. It's before school. But um, there is a lot of fat and weight prejudice. And I know any of you going through this process or that are still really big and thinking about surgery, don't let anybody tell you there's not because I know you can feel it. I felt it and still do feel it, you know. I'm, st I'm still technically obese. Anyhow, you guys, I gotta get ready for school, uh, put my shoes on, get out the door. Um, gosh, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna try to update you every couple months. Thank you, new subscribers. It's awesome to see a few of you popping up in my inbox the last couple months. Thank you so much for you people that have joined me along the way. I invite you to go back and look at my first few videos and really appreciate the the difference that surgery has made in my life. I can try to answer any questions. I can't specifically give medical advice. I'm not a medical professional, but I can share my experience. So have a great day wherever you are, and I'll talk to you guys again next time.